Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I am Yash and today I will show you how to create UI collection view with custom cell without using storyboard. So let's get started. This is what I created in my test project. I have like 100 lines. Uh, the only thing uh, different we will do, uh, we will be doing different is that we will have lion, dog and cat. So yeah, uh, this is the project which I already created. I dragged and dropped a uh, one background image, one cat, one dog, and one lion. And I have already created data model in my view controller file just to save time. So it's dog, lion, cat, and it repeats for like five times. So first we will delete our main.storyboard file. So delete and move to trash. So no touching. And if you run the application, uh, then you will get some error, which says that it is not able to find the main file so boom and we get the error so if you scroll all the way up here it says that reason is could not find a storyboard named main so first we need to fix this problem so hop over to info.plist file and you, uh, you where it says main storyboard file base name uh, you can get rid uh, of main here or you can uh, click on the project and under development info main interface just double click main and get rid of it and just hit enter or whatever i don't like that uh, we don't have landscape in left right so i'll just uncheck that as well so uh we will not get the error if we run the application but we still get the black screen so let's first find a way to the white screen we always get a bunch of things uh, we are uh, going to make a collection view controller a view so it's good to have a ui collection view controller so collection view controller basically our view controller will be subclass of ui collection view controller and uh, if you don't know then uh, just to tell you that ui collection view controller requires a flow layout so we will be doing all the stuff under app delegate file under did finish launching with options uh, function here uh, and we will be using this window property here i will first say window is equal to ui window window and open bracket and here frame will be ui screen dot frame uh, dot main dot bounds and i will say window dot make key and visible and we need to assign our window a root uh, root view controller so i will say window dot root view controller is equal to collection view controller and i'll just copy this thing and we, we need to create this so let collection view controller is equal to view controller uh, basically this view controller is our class file under this view controller file so uh, the thing we are referring to is this part view controller and here I will say view controller open brackets and here okay I need to save this file first so that it understands that we are subclassing UI collection view controller so that we get a flow layout option so now if you try doing the bracket thingy you will get the option collection view layout for that we need UI collection view layout so I will select flow layout is equal to UI collection view flow layout and make sure it's flow layout uh, there is one more option which says just layout but we need flow layout and open close brackets and here I will just pass in our flow layout and just to test that our thing is working uh, under view controller under view did load I will just say uh, collection view collection view dot background image background color is equal to UI color uh, dot cyan I like cyan so just run the application and see how it looks so application is loading and we get cyan so it's working uh, if you remember uh, from my test project I created the blur effect over the image so Oh, we need to do that first as well so here I will get rid of this cyan thing and we will uh, need two more variables so one will be uh, image view is equal to U UI image view and open close brackets and another one is blur effect 
is equal to UI visual effect view and open close brackets and here we will create one function so we will say func setup background and open close parentheses open brackets here uh, I'll just bring it in center first we'll say let uh, no it, it will be image view is equal to UI image view open brackets and here we can use this frame part so here I will just say self dot view dot bounce and we will say image view dot image is equal to UI image and it will be named so I remember the name so it's r dot uh, art underscore image dot jpg oh no it's not art image it's wallpaper dot jpg so no it's background background so and we will say image view dot content mode is equal to dot scale aspect fill and we will just add this image to our view so self dot view dot add sub view and just say image view and let's call the function here so set up background and let's run the application and see whether we get the image or not so we do get the image uh, now we need to set our blur view so let's set the blur view on top of it so here we will say blur effect okay uh, we need to create the effect first so let effect is equal to UI blur effect open brackets with style dot light and we will say uh, now we will uh, use that blur uh, blur effect thing so blur effect is equal to UI visual effect and I'll stop the application from running so that I can get rid of this open brackets and okay open brackets what's the problem okay visual effect view and open brackets and effect just pass in the effect we just created and we need to give it a frame so blur effect dot frame is equal to image view dot bounce and add it to our view so self dot view dot add sub view and just say effect uh, blur effect so blur effect and run the application once again and we should get the blur effect So we do get the blur effect. Uh, now we will dive into the core part. So for that first, uh, I need to create extra file for my custom cell file. Uh, yeah, for my custom cell class. So uh, so our new file will be subclass of UI collection view cell and I'll just say custom cell here and hit enter, hit create. So here we will do bunch of stuff first we need init property so init and here I will say super dot init init and here I will just pass in frame and now we need to create an image view so let image view uh, this will be of type UI image view equal to and we will be assigning it like this way so we can set bunch of properties here so image view so here I will create say let image view is equal to UI image view and open close brackets here we will say image view dot image is equal to UI image and open close brackets uh, something else so image view dot content mode equal to scale aspect fill and we will just return this image so return image view and I'll just fix it so this is something we need to do it so I'm just doing it uh, we are good to go here but oh, the only thing we need to do is we I just need to add this in my uh, initialization file uh, initialization function so here I will just say self dot so I can just say add sub view and just pass in our image view one more thing we need to do is image view dot frame is equal to uh, bounce so this are my cell bounce so that's pretty straightforward 
and I will just give it corner radius so layer dot corner radius corner radius is equal to frame dot height by 2.0 so we are good with uh, we are done with setting part for a custom cell so first we need to assign this custom cell to our collection view so here I will say collection view dot register and I will say custom class custom cell and dot self and for reusable identifier I will say C cell and now we need uh, two methods to make this thing work first is number of items in section here I will just return data model dot count so this is the basic stuff we do for collection view and cell for item at index path here I will create cell so collection view dot DQ reusable identifier and our identifier was C cell and index path will be index path and we will downcast it as custom cell so that we can use that uh, image view property so I will say cell dot image view I need to save the file so go back here command save and now we can refer to it as image view dot image is equal to UI image open brackets named uh, string and here we will use string interpolation so we will say data model open close brackets and index path dot item and after the completion uh, after string interpolation just add dot png so that uh, it works fine and we will just return this cell and we are good to go return cell and boom and run the application so the application is loading but the thing is oh we just see the blur view because the problem is that our collection view is behind this blur view and image view so what we will do is before setup background color I will say collection view dot remove from super view and here I will say collection view dot background color is equal to UI color dot clear and I will add again to our view so it comes in our super view so solve dot view dot add the sub view and collection view and run the application and what's the matter exclamation here we go run the application once again and we should see the collection view and we do see the collection view the only uh, the problem is the our cells are really small and we will like to add like define the properties which we can do it if we have storyboard so let's do that in order to change cell size uh, we need to confirm to one uh, another delegate protocol so below here I will create one extension and we will extend view controller and this will extend collection view uh, it is something like UI collection view flow uh, it's delegate flow layout and hit enter open brackets and here if you just click on this thing and come on click and jump to definition here we have a bunch of uh, functions which we can use to change settings of our collection view so first is size for item and another thing we need is inset for section uh, no yeah so first we'll use size for item so size for item and here we will return cg size open brackets and width and height width will be 100 height will be 100 and now we need inset as well so inset and here is the thing so which requires return value of ui in ui edge inset so just hit enter and here i will return ui edge inset open brackets now for top i will say 10 left 10 bottom 10 and right 10 so let's run the application for one last time and see how it looks so application is loaded and we see this collection view which looks good uh, you can decrease the cell size to suit your preferences so I will just say 75 and 75 over here and run the application and let's see how it looks 
Yeah, now it looks good. So that's how you create collection view without using storyboard. If you have any questions, post them in comments. If you like my video, thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Until next time.